Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Ian is a Weirdo. Today is day one. I was gonna go like this, but that's two. One of 31 products of Halloween, and I will be picking out from my little pumpkin a um, new project, um, and then I'll be conceptualizing the project, and I will be. Um, I don't know, just uh, seeing what I can make and then uh, starting to make it. So I hope you guys enjoy these videos because I'm putting a lot more effort than I normally put in. <laughs> so let's go see what number one is. Okay, so number one is graveyard okay so let's see what could i do with this so obviously you just go with like the creepy colors of a graveyard like grays and blacks um so i'm just gonna write some notes um and um, I know that there are some other um, more specific uh, items in a graveyard in the pumpkin, so I don't want to overstep and do like an item. Um, but I could make like a 3D graveyard with yarn and that would be pretty cool. Um, and then I could kind of do whatever I wanted with it. Um, let's see. Um, I'm, th I'm thinking about a lot of those like statues um, in a graveyard and how kind of extravagant they are. Those are pretty cool. Um, so that would be one option. Um, let's see, are there any like famous graveyards that I can think of? The only ones that I can think of are ones with mausoleums, which I have a mausoleum in there, so I don't want to use that just yet. I don't want to pull that card just yet. So, um, I think the 3D graveyard, uh, is pretty cool, and I like, kind of like, um, making it very, um, speaking of Beetlejuice, um, making it very, like, Beetlejuicey, like, the model town that they had, um, that would be really cool to just make that, um, and make a graveyard, uh, like that, and, um, yeah, that could be pretty fun, and, like, if I have time, I could embroider, like, some names or some skulls and crossbones or something like that. Um, so yeah, so I think that's what I'm going to do. So, um, so yeah, so let's see what happens. Okay, now it's time to pick some yarn. So I was thinking for the grass, I would do like, um, I originally was going to, I'm sorry, I'm like kneeling and it's, uh, a little challenging on my old knees. Um, I was thinking that I would do like a Kelly green, but then I was like, mm, no, it's Halloween. Let's go slime green. So I'm going to do the grass in this color. I used it for my, um, my uh, Halloween hat, and this is the color, it's in the, um, Century collection, so it's not available anymore, and it's in the color Limeade, 
so you can't quite see how limey it is. It looks more like spring green or something like that, but that's okay. Okay, so next I need headstone colors. So I have a couple options, um, and I have... So I have this wool, and um, this is pure wool, um, and it is gray and black. It's really beautiful. The colors are perfect, but I just don't know if I want to deal with wool and like amigurumi style headstones. So I might not put that in there. So then I have this ice yarn, and this is the color. Uh, so this is Rockstar yarn. And, um, it's freaking pretty. It just looks so cool. Um, and it is... Do they have a color name? Or do they just have numbers? So it's 19% merino, 70% polyamide, and 11% acrylic. Yeah, I think they just have, like, numbers and stuff. This is, like, a silver black. It's really, really nice. So I think this is a front runner for sure. So I'm gonna put that over there. Next I have this touch of alpaca. I just have one skein. Um, it's really, uh, it's, it's pretty soft. It's not super soft to be honest. Um, this is the color Charcoal, and it's uh, the Lion Brand Touch of Lux collection. Um, I'm, it's a little dark for me, um, but it could be cool. It's got these alpaca hairs coming off of it, and that could look really cool and cobwebby. So I'm who knows? Might put that. I'm gonna put it over there. We'll see. I think I'm gonna have a bunch of different colored headstones. I have some Just Yarn um, from the dollar store that is in a light gray. And then I also have a light gray in a thinner weight. Um, this is it's literally called light gray. And this is um, fresco fiber and light gray. So just put those over there. Oh, almost fell. I love new medicine. And then I have... This Pound of Love, or not Pound of Love, uh, Red Heart with Love, um, and I don't know the color, it's taped up, um, I bought it at a like, thrift store. So, um, super soft, easy to work with, medium gray, um, we'll think, I think this will be nice, so I think I'll do maybe some metallic ones, uh, I don't think I'm going to use Touch of Alpaca, and then I'll do some light colored ones. Um, it's not gonna be big, huge, um, but it's, they're gonna be, I'm gonna try to embroider on the, um, or maybe paint. Maybe I'll just paint it. That seems better. Um, I'll paint the, the headstones. So yeah, so that's my plan. Um, these are all the grays I have that I can think of. I've got a silver, but I don't think that right, right there, silver. Um, but I don't think it'll work. I think these grays are good, and I think we can get some really cool things out of these. So, huh? exciting! So Mel had a really great idea, so she suggested making um, I told her my idea for how I wanted to do this, and she had a really great idea. She said, why don't you make it like a diorama? So we use a shoe, we're going to use a shoebox. I cut off the tabs on the side that cement the, or that, you know, help close the shoebox. And so this whole area, I wanted to make grass, and then um, out of yarn, and then have the headstones in it. And then I could paint like a spooky moon, um, some trees, or it's just, you know, overall spookiness. And then, you know, 
paint everything black. Um, so that's my, I, well, not my idea. It was definitely all Mel. Um, I just wanted to do grass and some um, grape and some headstones, but she definitely took this to the next level. Um, so this would be great, um, and I can't wait to display it. It'll be a great display. So, um, so yeah, so that's Mel's idea. So those are my ideas for right now. So I'm going to get to crocheting, and I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> 